Hello and welcome to yet another weekly case opening and today we're going to open some Operation Phoenix cases. I moved a bunch of these from my storage account and uh, well, it seems that they have gone up in price even more since the last time I opened them. They are now £1.20 each on the market. And uh, well, out of this one, we're looking for uh, the AK deadline of course. Obazimov, and uh, well, if we get super lucky, there is a really nice Karambit, really nice M9 Bayonets. They're all worth pretty good money nowadays. They don't uh, drop out of any of the new cases uh, so much anymore, especially like the fa Bayonet Fade and such, so... If we get lucky, then there's definitely a lot of money to be made in this case. But, uh, well, so far, <laughs> that's not happening, of course. Oh, there was a P90 Trigon. Instead of that, get us an AK. Oh, no, not, a, not the Trigon. Another one. Oh. If this was a red line, that would have been worth a lot more. Well, actually, not that much more. Um, the red line is, I think, like a really badly worn one. It's about uh, 10 pounds, and this Trigon is, at worst, 7 pounds. So, hmm. I thought that they, this was a lot better, but I guess not really. I think the AK-47 red line really shines in stat truck. <laughs> Another one passed by. Oh my. The game's teasing me. But I don't think we're gonna get anything good still. I mean, it's only been a couple of episodes since we got gloves, so... Get us more blues, really. And for the winner of the last giveaway, of the AK-47 uh, Elite build, it's Luis Resia. Congratulations, your comment, nice video brother, with a heart, won you, uh, won you that AK. For the next giveaway, we're gonna do the CZ-70 Auto. I've got two of these, so actually, you get yourself a double, so you get two of these if you, if you win the giveaway. Either that, actually, maybe I'll just pick two winners. So next week, we'll get two winners for the two CZs. Because, I mean, they, they did drop, like, one after another. And it is a nice play skin, even when it is well-worn, so... Two lucky winners next week. And let's see the other five cases now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Why, why is it always UMPs? That's the fourth UMP out of six cases. The only other things was non-blue items. I think I saw pink AK. Jesus, that's a really bad blue, badly worn tech knight. Oh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything today. I mean, that Pinaki Dragon is nice, but that barely co covers the cost of these cases, so... Yeah. Ay ay ay. Come on. That was the last blues. We can get this over with and wait till next week. Oh my god, no way! <laughs> Star Trek Bayonet! Holy! That's our second Star Trek knife. Let's check the value of the item. Wow. This is well worn, field tested, okay, so pretty standard. Let's see. <laughs> oh. We're looking at about 150 pounds for that. That's, <laughs> that's awesome. It's not quite, uh, not quite a fade. Those are like three times that price, but hey, I'll, I'll take that. Lovely Star Trek bayonet. <laughs> well, and here I was just saying how I thought that, well, we wouldn't be getting anything because we literally just got a set of gloves. But, um, well, I was, I was proven wrong, clearly. <laughs> uh, and uh, we get that, I guess, for the finish. No, I can't believe it. That's another another opening with a, a, a red item so close. And uh, this is I'm really happy that we got another Star Trek finally. I know that Star Trek knives aren't really worth that much more in the lower end when it's uh, something like uh, Urban Mask or all the green ones. But uh, that's still pretty cool. I, I'm still really happy because uh, I do like Star Trek knives, especially when you're playing Face It. And, and you actually get to knife. So, within less than, what, 30 cases? We get another red. And it's a Star Trek bayonet. 
Wow. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, remember to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.